Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to talk about NVIDIA being stuck with 300,000 newest uh, Series 10 in GPUs. So it looks like that they made way too many GPUs for the amount of miners that they estimated will buy those GPUs and now they are stuck with them. So OEMs like Gigabyte, ASRock, uh, ASUS uh, returned 300,000 GPUs. So three of the top OEMs returned that amount. So if you take the average amount of a GPU which you can find over here on Nvidia site, let's just say that all of them cost $300 that is then 100 million dollars in returned GPUs. And this could actually be the cause why they are not releasing the 11 series so soon as we expected just because they have so many GPUs left. And this is actually the same thing that happened in 2013 and 2014 when there was also a huge mining G GPU mining boom that manufacturers like AMD and Nvidia got stuck with hundreds of thousands of uh, GPUs that they couldn't just sell because nobody was buying them. And right now you can buy a GTX 1060, 6GB version from Nvidia side for $300, which is a reasonable price, but this is still 2 years old GPU. And when miners start selling their cards more and more, you will be able to buy the used GPU for $200, and why would you just go and buy for $300 from Nvidia side if you can get a cheaper GPU uh, used. So it doesn't look very good and this is what Nvidia was worried about and they didn't just want to produce more and more GPUs because they knew that something like this could happen. And they didn't probably think that mining will go down so fast because one month we were making like five, six dollars with a GTX 1060 and two months after that you were making like two dollars and now you are making one dollar per day with GTX 1060. So the demand went down really, really drastically and they couldn't expect that, like nobody was expecting that. We were thinking that we would be getting at least a few more months of profitable mining and now if you have electricity cost of more than maybe 20 cents, you cannot make any profits, not even with a RX 580s uh, with, with 20 cents electricity, it is really hard to make any reasonable profits unless you have thousands of uh, GPUs. So this is the main reason probably why the 1100 series is, uh, is still not launched and now we're going to take a look at how much those 300,000 GPUs actually are. Over here if you go to nicehash.com algorithms you can see how many mining rigs are online for each algorithm. And 300,000 GPUs is actually not so much compared to number of active rigs because for example only on Kryptonite V7 there is 119,000 active rigs and each rig has between 1 and 6 GPUs which is the most common. Some of them have 10, 13 GPUs but this is really a small portion of them and if the average number is 3 GPUs per rig this means 360,000 GPUs are mining only Kryptonite V7. So 300,000 is not so much you get that many GPUs just mining on NiceEdge and just on Kryptonite V7. But this is still 100 million dollars and they will have to do something to sell all of those GPUs. But who are you going to sell those GPUs to? Everybody who wanted a 1060 already got it since it is more than two, year, two years old and you can still buy it used from miners. And over here you can see that only card out of stock from NVIDIA is 180 Ti which costs $700 and other ones are going for MSRP. So 300 for 1060, 1070 is $400, 1080 is 549 So prices did return to normal but they still have this limit to GPUs per customer which I don't see reason to have because nobody is actually even buying like 10, 20, 30 of those old GPUs now. And even if somebody would want to buy a thousand of those GPUs, I'm pretty sure that Nvidia would sell those thousand GPUs because, because they need to get rid of those 300,000 GPUs. So nobody was expecting that and now they are stuck with so many hundreds of thousands of GPUs and I think that AMD is actually not stuck with so many GPUs because Vega 56 and 64 cards you still cannot get in the stores with normal prices. Prices are still incredibly high and they are still selling even at those incredibly high prices. Now 580s and 570s are going a little bit slower but they are still selling almost everywhere uh, depending of course on where you live. 
So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments and you can read all about it, this article which is down in the description. See you soon in another video and bye.